All right. So uh, how many here have not heard of Zeus already? OK. So I'm going to, in this session, going to talk about um, a new service by Cisco that runs on Cisco's public cloud called Zeus. And uh, this, so, this service is focused on operations management in the cloud for all of your Cisco or non-Cisco devices. And I'm, I'll explain more what it is and how it works. I'm going to keep it interactive. And I'm also going to focus on demo more than presentation in this talk. right? So it's going to be a live demo of the service, what it works, how you can use it, how you can install it, how you can integrate it in your applications, and stuff like that. So the problem that we're trying to solve with Zeus is for an application administrator or um, you know, an IT guy, an IT admin, uh, or a network admin. And essentially, uh, there's a lot of, and there are a lot of environments that an admin has to manage. Uh, it could be uh, you know, infrastructure, devices, hardware, or it could be you know, VMs or containers or applications, databases, public cloud, private cloud, you name it. There's a lot of different types of data that an admin has to uh, be, a, be aware of from different sources. And um, these uh, sources are generating a lot of information about themselves through logs and the metrics, right? Performance data from routing devices or uh, you know, hypervisor usage data of VMs or public cloud uh, data published by AWS or you know, uh, Azure or even Cisco now. And, uh, and so there's a lot of logs and metrics coming from a lot of different sources. And it's difficult to make sense of this. Typically, the way you try to solve this problem is uh, you install something like Splunk in-house, or you set up an open source system such as Elasticsearch with Logstash and Kibana. And you try to get all your logs from different sources, and you try to you know, get your log management dashboards. And uh, you know, similarly, for metrics, you can install uh, Graphite uh, and, and have Graphite, uh, the, the metrics management dashboards. But this is a lot of setup that you have to do yourself. And uh, you know, it's a lot of management of the system itself. right? You have to manage the installation of uh, Splunk. Uh, you have to get licenses. You know, you have to make sure that it's correctly configured and installed on your servers and stuff like that. It's up and running. And then you have to upgrade. So all of this, a lot of hassle in trying to do this yourself uh, with open source tools or uh, commercial tools such as Splunk. So uh, you can do it with SaaS solutions, right? So Splunk has a cloud version. Uh, you can use something like Logly. You can use uh, something like App Dynamics to manage metrics. But the problem with those kinds of approaches is that they try to solve the problem in parts. So Logly solves logs, right? the log management problem. App Dynamics solves the metrics management problem. But there's nothing that gives you a 360 perspective of your operations, uh, which includes logs, includes metrics. And also health checks, right? So is your app up and running? Is your server up and running? Can I SSH into it? Is, can I, does it respond to ping? These kinds of tests that you need to run on your applications uh, also need to be managed somewhere. People use things like Pingdom for those kinds of uh, things. So you end up using a lot of discrete uh, services for dis different aspects of the same problem, which is to make sure your servers and your applications are up and running at all times. And so Zeus is a product that helps solve this problem. Um, essentially, uh, we, it's a SaaS, runs in the cloud, don't have to install anything locally. Uh, you get data from all of your different environments. Uh, oops. It's running by itself. Um, uh, so you can get data from all of your environments. Um, uh, whether they're running in the cloud, uh, whether they are on-prem, whether they are from applications, um, uh, you know, VMs, containers, machine data, you name it, doesn't uh, doesn't make a difference. Uh, put it all into Zeus, and Zeus does uh, gives you a lot of interesting dashboards and analytics on top of it. I'll give you some examples. Actually, I'm going to run 
um, the uh, you know run Zeus and actually show you all this stuff. These kinds of dashboards that you can run for logs, uh, as well as uh, uh, metrics. Metrics are integrated in the same application as I mentioned. Um, so before I actually show you uh, a demo, uh, let me um, show you an intro video of Zeus. Let's see. OK, I'm going to connect that go. shortly. You have audio, right? Yeah. Cool. As an IT administrator or application developer, you have a growing and increasingly diverse environment to manage. You have hundreds of hardware devices, VMs, containers, cloud instances, connected devices, and traditional or emerging application deployments. These systems generate millions to billions of events, logs, or metrics that are necessary for understanding, managing, and troubleshooting problems. Current solutions, such as on-premise applications or open source tools, require a lot of work in hardware setup, install, and ongoing application management. Software as a service based products are better because they allow you to focus on the core problem. However, current products handle the problem in isolated parts. That is to say they manage only logs or only metrics. Introducing Cisco's use. Zeus is a software as a service based solution that makes it easy for you to manage events, logs and performance data from your entire environment. You can use standard agents to send your logs and metrics or use an API. Zeus can also actively collect data from your environment. Your data sources can be behind firewalls or in the cloud. Zeus provides modern visualization, search and dashboard capabilities that make it easy for you to understand and manage your environment quickly. You can cut down your problem resolution time through Zeus's advanced analytics capabilities. Zeus also automatically analyzes your data and notifies you when any issues are detected so you can take action on the right data at the right time. Zeus, a simple and modern cloud-based operations management solution from Cisco. All right. Um... So what I'm going to do now is show you a bunch of live demos using Zeus. So let's start with, let's say that you're trying to manage a networking device. Uh, it's uh, NetFlow's data coming out of your networking device. So let's say it's all about um, you know, packet flows. So there's a source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port. And let's say as a network admin, you want to make sense of that data. So uh, how can you do that using Zeus? So what we've done is uh, sent uh, about half a million uh, packet, header, packet headers to Zeus. And now I'm going to show you how we can manage all of them using Zeus's uh, dashboarding capabilities. So first thing to do is to map your system to the date at which the logs were sent. So let me show you what the logs are. These logs are packet flow logs, as I just mentioned. It has a destination IP address, uh, destination um, port uh, type, um, and then source IP, source port type, packet length, and then this uh, field called delay. Uh, delta, which which is basically the number of uh, milliseconds between packets. So this is packet standard pack packet flow data, and I have uh, a half a million of these, right uh, on the top right. You can see that. And oops, uh, so let me uh, 
let me show you how we can analyze all of this data in really interesting ways using Zeus. So the first thing is, uh, I'm gonna, let's say I'm interested in finding out all of these packets, where are they going? What kind of protocol are we trying to access with these packets, right? Is it for the web, is it for mail, is it for something else? So uh, let's try to analyze that using um, our dashboard. Whoops, how did this show? All right, so let me create a pie chart. And what I'm gonna say is I wanna make a pie chart of terms. The terms in this case are the destination port name, right? I wanna know what are the most common ports that are used um, in my router uh, by my clients. And I'm gonna make a donut pie chart out of it. So what I expect to see is a breakdown of the port names that were, that were present in the packets. Okay, so basically the most common port, uh, port address that is being used by clients is for web browsing, right, HTTP, followed by mail, they send a lot of mail, followed by, there's a lot of FTP traffic in this case, so it's probably some server kind of management uh, use cases. Um, but this is not all. I can do a lot of such uh, uh, interesting visualizations, and then I can combine them to make dashboards. So I'm going to show you how such visualizations can be put together into a dashboard. And I have a saved dashboard here called Packet Header Packet Analysis Dashboard. Okay, so what this is showing is I've got 500k packets that I have analyzed on Zeus. Um, these, uh, this, this visualization that I just created is a part of uh, one of the uh, visualizations that I put into this da dashboard. But th that's not all. Like, if I want to see what are the most common clients trying to use HTTP, the web browsing. Um, so, yeah, these five clients, these are the top five clients that were trying to do web browsing. And this was the most uh, common, you know, originator of web traffic. Um, this is this uh, chart on the right is the same chart on the on, uh, as this one except that it's now a percentile breakdown as opposed to a count breakdown right so this is a absolute comparison of uh, FTP and HTTP traffic and this is a percentage comparison across the top five hosts of that of that traffic um, I can also see what are the most common packet lengths uh, this is a, a you know Packet length of 40, which is typically used to uh, to do HTTP packet header kind of uh, connections, is is uh, the most common. And then I have there's a lot of uh, packet lengths for um, of 1500, which is the maximum transmission unit. So this is uh, you know the top five packet lengths, and then this is a distribution of those packet lengths uh, according to ranges. So in a histogram. And then uh, there's another histogram. So I'd like to understand, for example, how frequently do packets arrive? Um, uh, you know, what is the time interval between packet arrival? Uh, and so this chart kind of shows me that. Uh, so it's a bimodal, I guess a trimodal kind of distribution that I see here. Uh, there's a lot of packets that follow each other, and then there's some intermediate packet delay, and then there's a long delay between packets. Uh, so this is kind of expected in router traffic. So yeah, basically I can make, uh, this is not all, right? I mean, this is just for network packet analysis. I can do this for web traffic. I can do this for uh, you know my VM data, CPU usage, or I can do this for databases. Uh, you know, it, the sky's the limit. Um, you know, this, this dashboard happens to be just customized for routers. So uh, this is one aspect. Uh, as I mentioned, most of the systems that you see in this space, they manage logs, right? They, they kind of just do log analysis. But as an operator, you want to also manage metrics. So let's say you're running out of disk space. You'd like to see an event in the log saying, hey, running out of disk space. But what is the disk space, and what was the usage and growth of that disk space over time? Uh, that information is not in logs. That, for that, you need to manage metrics. So uh, in Zeus, you can manage metrics uh, together with logs. So I'm going to show you another account where we have a lot of interesting logs. Um, I'm sorry, metrics. 
And uh, let's say I was talking about the disk space usage uh, scenario. Um, so uh, let me create a new dashboard and um, try to use disk usage as a part of the dashboard. So OK, this one doesn't have disk space usage, but at least it shows me, for example, how many disk writes and reads happened across my different servers. So this is the server name. Uh, this, is the, this is the disk name, disk uh, ID, and then the actual amount of packets read over time. This is fairly static because there's a lot of activity happening. Uh, let's see something that varies over time. Memory for the same server. Yeah, so this is a change in memory over time. Uh, fairly static again. Um, about uh, 19 uh, gigabytes of memory used. So, um, so yeah, so this is the first system of its kind that can manage both performance data metrics and logs in the same system. So uh, let's make it a little interesting. So I did mention that you can get data from a lot of different sources. We can get from routers or VMs or applications, CPU. Let's try to build an application and try to send events, metrics, and logs from that application into this. And this is something that all of us can actually interact with. So I'm going to show you uh, some application code, uh, which is a chat server. Let me first show you the application, and then I can show you the code. OK, so the application is. Uh, a chat server that's running in the cloud. And it's simple, right? I mean, I can just uh, log in, you know, don't even need to log in, just enter the application and start sending messages. And as multiple clients connect, I'm going to open another browser and uh, send some messages. Right, so I can see uh, in real time people talking. And, and you guys, if you want, you can log in and actually uh, open this URL, chat.ciscozeus.io, and send uh, you know, chat messages, and it'll show up here. But meanwhile, I'm going to show you what the code looks like and how we can use Zeus to actually manage this application. So, uh, so on the left-hand side, I have two, uh, two files here. Um, on the left-hand side is the old code which is essentially, OK, open, you know, server opens a port, uh, listens on the port, and then when there are messages, OK, a new message from a, from a user, a uh, user has been added to the chat, um, you know, user join, user's typing something, that's an event, uh, user stop typing, user disconnected by closing the browser window. So these are events that are being generated that are used to manage the UI. So on the right hand side, I have a version that actually logs all of this into Zeus. So uh, you know, basically, there's a function called post log that posts events, and then there's a function called post metrics that posts metrics. What does it? Uh, what kind of logs are we posting? Okay, the server has started listening. Client is connected, and I'm posting a metric saying these are the current. Uh, connections to the server, um, new message showed up, and so forth, right? So um, as stuff happens here, I'm going to show you how Zeus gets updated, uh, updated in real time. So I'm just going to open up another window here. And uh, I'm going to log into an account that is getting all this data. OK, so what I'm going to do is make this update in real time, uh, so five seconds. And uh, let's see as I type whether this gets updated or not. Um, 
So. And I'm going to filter by an event type which says uh, new message. OK. So I just typed hello here. And as you can see, the message hello shows up. And in uh, five seconds or so, uh, this new message WhatsApp should show up. There you go. OK, so it's a system that's logging in real time the chat um, events that are happening in the application. And uh, that's not all. I showed you that I'm creating some metrics as well. right? So for example, how many users are currently connected? So there's a metric called user count. So let's uh, see that metric. So I'm going to open a new tab and check out that metric. So I'm going to say add a graph. It's really straightforward, point and click. So user count. OK, so to, right now we have two users. Let me uh, create a new user and see what happens. There you go. The count of users actually went up to three. So, um, so yeah, this updates in real time. And you know, just to show um, how interesting it can be, let me fire up a number of users. So, um, I'm going to fire up three or four users. that are going to just enter random messages into the chat server, chat window. So these guys uh, are just going to enter, keep entering you know, random messages. And the count of users just shot up right after that to five. So yeah, uh, essentially, uh, you know, in, in real time with this chat server, actually there was a hackathon earlier today, um, earlier uh, this uh, in the past weekend, where Zeus was used to actually do this kind of logging from a gaming server, uh, and um, uh, this is a live demonstration of something like that. And so you can use it to manage, as I mentioned, your servers, uh, your infrastructure, VMs or an application that runs uh, in a browser. And actually, you guys in real time can actually you know, type stuff into chat.ciscozoos.io, port 3000, and uh, it'll show up here. So actually, that's all for my talk. Uh, and if you'd like me to show you something, I can. Uh, if you want to ask me questions, I can answer your questions. Uh, OK, so do we manage the device itself? So mostly the management of the device is uh, left to the user. All the user have to, has to do is install an agent that can talk to Zeus. Um, but uh, there are things such as uh, the agent upgrade, and then uh, we also do things such as filtering of logs. So for example, let's say this is a credit card management application, and the logs have credit card numbers in them. So what we can do is, in real time, have the agent um, mask out the credit card numbers so that nothing is sent out from that server into the cloud. But as such, the management of the system uh, the user has to take actions. I mean, we can manage the health of the system and say, OK, the server is down or didn't respond to a URL request and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, the user is, uh, this is, this is operations management. 
So only gives information about what's going on and helps you quickly troubleshoot if there's anything wrong. But uh, the actions have to be taken by the users. OK, so I can uh, give you some time back in your day. Uh, and there's a Zeus booth in the DevNet, uh, just a couple of uh, uh, booths from here. And there's also a Zeus booth in the World of Solutions downstairs in the Cisco World of Solutions. So thank you. <laughs>